So for those of you wondering what's new with the M2 MacBook Air compared to the M1 version, well let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so the big change is obviously the new design. This is very similar to the MacBook Pro we got last year with the notch and the much flatter chassis, and so yeah, this does look a lot nicer than the M1 version with its thinner design. And by the way, we do get a new Midnight with this MacBook, which looks gorgeous. We also obviously have the M2 chip. This has a 15 cores instead of the A14 cores we saw with the M1 chip, and also two more GPU cores. But yes, in terms of data use, I'm not expecting major upgrades with the M2 chip. Now in terms of RAM and storage, the base models do still start with 8 gigs and 256 gigs of storage, however you can go up to 24 gigs of unified memory with this MacBook Air, but the storage is still up to 2 terabytes. And I also want to mention the base version only gets an 8 core GPU, not the full 10. Now the display is slightly bigger on the M2 MacBook Air because of the thinner bezels, but this does not have mini LED like the MacBook Pros, this still uses LCD tech. Now it is slightly bright at 500 nits, but apart from that, it's going to be a very similar experience to the existing M1 Air. In terms of the webcam and the mic, these are from the 2021 MacBook Pros, so the 1080p FaceTime camera which is a nice upgrade, and the 4 speaker system with spatial audio support. And by the way, there are still 3 great sounding mics on this. And finally, the headphone jack does also support high impedance headphones like the MacBook Pros. Now coming to the keyboard on this, this has the larger function row that the MacBook Pros got, alongside the Touch ID scanner on the side, we do also have the same Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.0 tech in this MacBook, and the same amount of USB-C ports, so that is two, which is kind of a bummer to be honest, I would have appreciated more ports. Thankfully MagSafe is here from the MacBook Pros, so that gives you faster charging, but of course, if you trip on the wire, the MacBook won't be flung across the house. Also I do want to mention quickly, the base model comes with a 30 watt adapter with one port, whereas the 10 core GPU version of the Air does get a 35 watt power adapter with two ports that of course can charge one other device. However, unlike the MacBook Pros, you do not get the 67 watt power adapter in the box. So yeah, while the Mac supports that, you'll have to pay for the faster charger separately. And regarding battery life, unfortunately there are no improvements. And finally, the biggest difference to note has to be the price. We have seen a price increase with the M2 MacBook Air, but that was to be expected. But yeah, do bear that in mind. Anyways guys, tell me in the comments below, do you plan to get the M2 MacBook Air refresh? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the good above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.